Okay, so I'm here with... Hiya. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and today we're going to talk about the film that he was recently in, which is Street Dance 2 in 3D. Yes. So, do you want to tell us a bit about your character, Eddie? Yeah. Um, okay, I play Eddie, and um, he's a young, kind of cheeky... He's basically just me. That's, that's, just that's it. He's just a young, cheeky... So I was going to say, do you have similarities to your character? So, oh, yeah. Everything, yeah? everything about him. Mm -hmm. um, He's the lead. Well, he's not the leader, but he's, he's he thinks he is, okay. and I like to think I can lead people, and I usually can't. Yeah. Um, but he's cheeky. He knows what he's doing. He's got his head screwed on, and no one takes him seriously, and no one takes me seriously. So always good. Yeah. Um, you filmed in lots of different locations for this film. We did. What we was did. your favourite? Did you have a favourite? Oh. <sighs> everything was good for different reasons. We did two weeks in Rome, and that was like. That was kind of the hottest, the mm. most beautiful. But then we did a month in Berlin, and I turned 18. So everything got a little bit crazy. Um, Can I imagine? So I'd have to say Berlin. Berlin. Berlin was my favourite. Although London impressed me because we did kind of, we did all the big dance scenes there. Um, we were there in France, yeah, yeah. That was good. So that was fun. That was exactly. So <laughs> that London, was really was fun. The, London was the kind of the biggest kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, yeah. So for every kind of different reasons, every city kind of turned up and impressed. It was great. Okay. Um, you worked with lots of amazing dancers, lots of amazing choreographers. Yes. What did you learn from them? Too much, that's the problem. It was, <laughs> really? It's because, yeah, because you kind of, like, we rehearsed two months before in, mm -hmm. in the studio in London, and just to watch them practice, like, it, brain was boiling everywhere because I was trying to take in things they were doing, they were telling me advice and stuff, and I just couldn't, I physically couldn't sit there and take it all in, so I learned a lot, but not enough because it all kind of just went there was so much. straight through on air yeah it was it was hard to learn but yeah some amazing dancers did you just... manage to teach anybody anything <sighs> no although i had a couple of dance battles um especially when we got to london there was a lot of people that kind of really wanted to battle me for some strange reason um so we had quite a few battles and, and they went off. They, like, it was Did good. you win any? Of course, all of them. Good, good, that's I what I like to hear. But only because I wouldn't battle someone unless I know I was going to win. So there was a couple Tactics. of people that <laughs> Tactics. <you know. laughs> um, so what upcoming projects can we see them? Well, I've just finished filming um, for a comedy mm. called Mount Pleasant on Sky One. Um, okay. So that comes um, out in August, um, either yeah. on Sky One or Sky Living, I'm not sure yet, um, decided. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm doing pantomime at the end of the year. Wow. I am Peter Pan. Wow. Which is why I'm wearing green today, because... That is very exciting. Peter Pan time. What pantomime is that? It's Peter Pan. What, I'm what, doing it, it in Derby. And very exciting. And that's, that's going to be good. Uh, Larry Lamb's playing Hook, and it's going to be a big one. It's going to be massive. Very, very, very exciting. I can't wait. Look forward to seeing you in that. Yep. And um, I hear you've opened your own dance studio in your hometown. I have, yeah. I spent the last six months kind of um, putting this idea together of a dance studio, which was underground, mm -hmm. very ghetto. Um, and it's under, it's like an archway under a train station. And it's, it's the most ghetto dance studio you'll ever wow. see. It's all been graffiti and sprayed I'm out. And, uh, <laughs> should, it's amazing. It's, it's completely amazing. Um, and yeah, it's it's getting busy and I'm enjoying it and I've kind of I've got this time off now where yeah. I'm not doing anything, so I'm it's just kinda of there all the time helping and training and stuff's gone well. Has that always been one of your dreams to That was my first dream. Really yeah, as soon as I danced dance I wanted school. but not even just a dance school. I wanted an archway mm -hmm. under a train station and I wanted it to look ghetto and I've gone beyond that and it looks You've got all of that. All of it and more. It, wow. it's stupidly stupidly good. And the kids that come are amazing. I've got about I get about 300, 400 kids a week that come in and do different classes and I love them, love them all. Wow, sounds very, very exciting. It's so exciting. And lastly, out of everything you've accomplished, what yes. would you say is your favourite thing that you've done or the most proudest achievement? That's a good one. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Biggest crowd I go for that was T4 on the beach um, and that was stupid, stupidly good. Um, uh, but my favourite, the top that I did uh, two months ago, I went to China and I performed on China's Got Talent on the final. And that was in front of a crowd of 20,000 and that was on air to 800 million people. Wow. So just, just 200 million short of a billion. Wow. So that was big. stupidly big. It's like the biggest show ever. So that was 
I think that's that, probably my biggest think that accomplishment. Counts. Yeah. I think that yeah. Okay, so thank you for talking to us today. Thank and you. tell the people when Street Dance 2 comes out. Street Dance 2 is out end of July on DVD and uh, go buy it because it's a good film and uh, and Eddie's great. So go buy it. <laughs> Eddie is great. He's great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hold it. I have no flexibility at all. I can hold a hand stack, but not that long. <laughs> <laughs> That's That's good. Yeah. Try and handstand, didn't work. I don't think I want the wrath of your mouth. No, I don't want it either. <laughs> There we go. You said you couldn't hold it.